Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mir, and in today's video we're going to talk about the Akuma chain. Some of them were teased by Capcom some time ago when they released the Garuda costume from Street Fighter EX. People lost their collective minds over it, and some people even thought that the Garuda costume specifically nerfed Akuma. I know, it sounds crazy, but you wouldn't believe what people came up with. Anyway, the balance patch finally released, so now we know the full extent of Akuma's changes. Let's dive into it, go down the list in order. Alright, first off, it's a scratchy medium kick. Let's read what Capcom has to say about it. Lengthen recovery time from 14 frames to 15 frames. Change frame advantage on hit from plus 3 frames to plus 2 frames. Change frame advantage on block from minus 1 to minus 2. Akuma's scratchy medium kick was one of the best before the patch, being only minus 1 on block and combo ball out of it on hit. This is on top of being cancelable. This was devastating on counter hit with the standing medium kick comboing from crashing medium kick. There are no changes to the hit stun or block stun and only the recovery is changed so will work in the same cancels. After the nerf however it will be slightly harder to throw out in neutral. Also you will get no combo on natural hit and the conversions on counter hit will be much more limited. Being minus 2 on block also means Akuma cannot steal the turn as easily, especially versus 4 frame characters where his 3 frame jab would have traded. Overall a solid change and a decent nerf to Akuma's low presence. Next we have his changes to his crutching medium punch. Added a projectile invincible hurt box to the upper body one frame before active attack time begins. It lasts until the attack ends. Extended the throws hurt box backward from the beginning of the move to the first frame of the attack. So the first change is a universal nerf to crouching medium punch and tier so that it can be stuffed more easily by jump ins. We've seen this change on other characters and uh, like I said it's a universal change for this patch. The change to the throw box makes it so that it's harder to get thrown during crouching medium punch before the move comes out. It's a very low key buff and it makes it better for beating throws during their active frames. Overall it's nothing too special, so we can move on. Next we have the changes to his heavy DP that we need to read alongside the changes to his V skill 1 to better understand what they mean. So let's go ahead and read the DP notes. Extended the hitbox forward, reduced the knockback distance when the first and second hits land on an airborne opponent, and increased the damage from 120 to 140. And then the Visco 1 changes, specifically to the Visco 1 kick. Increase the knockback distance on hit. Now we've seen both of these changes teased before. These two changes only make sense together because the Visco 1 kick before give you a really strong BMB combo where you could choose to side switch meterlessly by using Light Kick Tatsu as a cancel from the Visco 1 kick. You could also stay on the same side, but just not doing the light kick tatsu. And it would both lead into either heavy kick tatsu or heavy punch DP. Now the V skill 1 kick sends the opponent flying far away. It's mandatory now to cancel into the light tatsu from V skill 1 kick to chase after the opponent being sent flying so far away. Heavy punch DP is still the optimal combo ender for damage. You now have to spend meter for side switch by doing EX Demon Flip, and that is less damage than the normal BMB. This is part of the reason why they buffed the heavy DP. The extra damage is a compensation for the nerf, and the extra range on the hitbox and the reduced knockback on the hits is to make the combo more consistent from range, which is now necessary because of how far the V-Skill Kick sends you flying. It also indirectly buffed other conversions, like for example long range anti-air DP or heavy punch DP after the second hit of medium Tatsu. Overall, this is probably the biggest change of Akuma's patch notes. Akuma now has to choose whether or not he wants to spend meter to get that side switch. He can no longer do it meterlessly. This is still better than most characters that don't even get the choice to side switch. The new V skill kick combo, however, has impressive corner carry and does very good damage thanks to the heavy DP buff, so it's still a very good combo. Now onto the EX air fireball changes. If hit with an attack while stagnant, the projectile will now disappear. Change it landing recovery time on whiff or block from 4 frames to 9 frames. Landing recovery time on hit remains unchanged. So sometimes when Akuma got hit during the EX fireball by anti-airs and such, it would linger on the screen and hit the opponent. 
this would be extra annoying because the fireball knocks down and on top of that of course the damage that you'd be dealt by the fireball this is a consistency change to match other fireball like for example loras that disappear when the characters get hit during the startup frames the landing recovery was lengthened so that you can score a punish more easily on akuma if you successfully walk or dash under for example before it was the same time as a jump attack, so it was a bit tricky. Now it matches the landing recovery of an air fireball done on the way up, like a tiger knee fireball. So it will be much easier to punish. It will also be 5 frames worse on block as well. Next, a change to his demon flip grab. Fixed an issue where if the move was performed just before landing from any Hyakishu move, the opponent would not be thrown during the active attack frames of the throw hitbox. This is mostly just a bug fix, but what this means is that if Akuma did a demon flip grab too close to the ground, it was not going to work even if the throw actually came out in time and was active. Now onto another notable change, this time for Akuma's V-Trigger Air Fireball. Change the recovery time on landing from the jumping value to a special value, 5 frames. Now Akuma's normal air fireball is a lot of recovery on landing, it's 9 frames for the ones you do on the way up and 11 frames for the ones you do descending from a jump. So V-Trigger air fireball in comparison only had 4 frames of landing recovery, like a normal jumping attack. So it was nerfed to have an extra frame of recovery. It will make punishing it a little bit easier and make him just slightly less plus if the fireball hits you or is blocked. Mostly negligible in that case, but it's a welcome change. And now the last change is to his Raging Demon. Adjusted blackout duration from the attack's second frame to when the opponent can move. This is just some technical jargon that is not necessarily very easy to understand. The actual solution that they used is that they made it so that the super freeze lasts slightly less during the uh, demon animation, so that the demon grab actually has less real time, in air quotes, to travel forwards and catch you. The developer commentary confirms that this makes it so that the raging demon has less range, making it harder to land. In fact, it seems like you have to be really close to your opponent now to actually grab them on the first frame. I'm going to go ahead and also read what Capcom has to say about these changes in their developer commentary. Akuma's maximum health is set lower to balance out his powerful moveset, however his affected defensive options ended up giving him more lasting power than the other characters. To alleviate this, we've readjusted his defensive moves to raise the difficulty of protecting against an opponent's offensive. With the adjustment to Akuma's primary defensive option, Rakango Kyaku, you can no longer switch positions with the opponent by comboing into Light Tatsumaki Zanku Kyaku. Switching positions when at a disadvantage now requires either sacrificing combo damage or spending critical gauge. Players must choose which combo to use based on the situation. On the other hand, Akuma now has better offensive capabilities, with more chances for high damage combos when rushing down the opponent. Shungoku Satsu now has a shorter grab range after the blackout, increasing the difficulty of using it. And these were all the patch notes for Akuma. On a surface level, these are pretty much all nerfs with just a couple of buffs to compensate. The side switch change is easily the most notable one, but there's a few others like Crouching Minion Kick and the X-Air Fireball, which are also important. Uh, obviously, we need to remember that V-Shift exists, and we're still not sure how it will impact the game once it's fully optimized. Akuma has a lot of moves and situations that he can create that are hurt by V-Shift, but he's also quite fragile, so having a safer defensive option can really help him a lot. Akuma also really likes his V-Trigger 1, so unless he's already winning, players might want to save the V-Gage for the V-Trigger instead to make that comeback. So what do you guys think? Are these nerfs for Akuma fair, or were you expecting more nerfs? Did they go too far? Let me know in the comments below. As always, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can be notified when new content is coming up. And I'll see you next time.